Welcome to the video guys, today I'll be doing a shop tutorial since a lot of you guys have been asking me Hey, how to make a shop? Hey, can you make a shop tutorial? And because of that, I will be making a shop tutorial today And don't use the same builds because my builds actually suck I've just prepared something in like 5 minutes, so uh yeah there we go all right so we got this wonderful food stand right here and we have zero money i've prepared this beautiful food stand as you can see it's pretty creative and i'll be showing you how to make the script to actually be able to buy food here all right using a stat i named money all right so the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to work with gy so if you want people to just go here and press a button or if you want to work with prompts now for the video i will be working with prompts but you may want to work with gui it depends on you honestly so the first thing we obviously need is insert and the good old prompt event now it'll spawn any moment there it is and now that we got the prompt event here we'll just need a new part like right here we want this to become our prompt, so we'll give it the class ID 1. Now inside our prompt event, 1, 2, this is our prompt, you can see there's already E showing up. Now we want them to hold it like 0.5 seconds, a cooldown of 1 second, I don't really care, and a max activation distance. Let's make it 7. Yeah, that's better. And now I'll call it like, the text will be by bread. Right, you can buy bread here and the object text will be This action will cost you 5 money Now it shows up right here and if you click it, nothing happens because it's just a prompt event Now we need a command executor, right? No we don't, we need a logic gate For everybody who's just going to make a command executor Oh god. For everybody who's just going to make a command executor and be like, yes, yeah, subtract player money 5, that's absolutely stupid. You need to make the command executor the third part, or maybe the fourth, it really depends on you. And here we can put in subtract player money 5, then it'll subtract the player 5 money. So player is the user, money is your custom stat and 5 is the amount you want to subtract. And now I will be adding the bread, but since there is no bread gear and I am too lazy to make a bread tool and make a server, I'll just be using the Bloxy Cola as an example. So gear, player and the ID of the Bloxy Cola. Now that's all our command executor needs, but maybe you want to add something, that's up to you. Now we'll be needing a logic gate because if we just subtract it, the player will have negative money, so that doesn't really make sense. Our value 1 will be get stat player and money, and now the stat has to be more or equal 5. So if the player has more than 5 money, he can buy the bread and if he has exactly five money he can still buy the bread if it's double equals he can only buy the bread with five money right so that is important that you click this and that it shows into this direction please there we go and now we want to signal this our command executor and if the player doesn't have any money so else we need a new command executor for which I'll just copy this one and give it a different class ID and we'll delete this and we will add a notice to the player you don't have enough I can't type oh my god I can't type player you don't have enough money so the player will get a notification now for the prompt itself we'll just make it invisible and we can keep it like this of course we could make it not collidable and now we'll buy bread and we don't have enough money so it gives us a notification because I have zero money now what if I have five money though well to get five money I'll just add me money five now I have five money and 
There we go, we got a Bloxy Cola. And what if we have seven money? Add me money seven. We still got a new Bloxy Cola. Now we have two. It's that simple, honestly. I have no idea why you guys asked me to make a tutorial about this. But since you guys asked, here it is. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if the tutorial helps you. And if you want more tutorials in the future. And have a good one. Bye!